It is upgrade time, but it's my back garden floodlight this time round. So can the LP5 replace my beloved Yuffie? I don't know, I'm excited to find out. Hello and welcome back, or if you're new here, then just hello, hi, welcome. I've been sent this. A 3K pan and tilt floodlight security camera from a company that, unfortunately, I'm not sure how to pronounce. Osu? Asi? Aosu? Aosu? Aosu. We'll go with that. And whilst this is not a sponsored video, they did send me this for free. So, thank you for supporting small creators such as myself. At time of scripting this video, this will set you back 161 Great British Pounds and you'll find a link to this exact camera in the video description down below. Thanks. Could this really be a competitor to my Eufy floodlight currently living in my back garden or will that comment be used purely for YouTube clickbait purposes? The Eufy killer. I don't know really, so uh, let's start by seeing what we get in the box. The first thing we are presented with is a nice security sticker followed by some gumph, also known as a user manual. Next, a bag containing a USB type A to type C cable, some fixing screws, and a good old fashioned meat hook. Following this, we have the mounting bracket, which is what you would secure to the wall or ceiling, along with some fixing paraphernalia. And then under some fairly hefty protection, the main floodlight camera itself, which measures 24 by 23 by 23 centimeters and weighs two kilograms. And the final item is the mounting bracket, which goes on the side or top of the camera, depending on how you plan to mount it. That's your lot, unboxing done. So so in the listing, this is advertised as a five megapixel security camera, and it still confuses me why companies choose to use the megapixel option when I feel most people would more likely understand it better if they just said it was 4K or 3K or 1080p, for example. Anyway, sorry, yeah, it's 3K and it can pan and tilt 360 degrees and has AI humanoid detection, which means it not only detects humans, but also anything humanoid, such as uh, insectoids, the greys, some reptilian races. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It can record 24 seven to a micro SD card, not supplied. And there are cloud storage options available if you so wish. And due to the fact it can record 24 seven and also to power those 2600 lumen bright floodlights, it does need to be connected to mains power. But it states it's wireless. It supports a 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection. I'll see how this performs with my mix 2.4 and five gigahertz in testing. And it also has Bluetooth, which I'm assuming at this stage is probably for the initial setup. It's IP65 weatherproof, perfect for here in the UK, especially recently, a lot of rain. It has all the other features you would expect from a security camera, such as motion detection via the three PIR sensors, detection zones, night vision, Color night vision via the use of the spotlights, recording schedules, and two-way audio. So without, <coughs> without further ado, here is what 3K footage from this camera looks and sounds like. Here is what footage from the Osu L5P 3K security pan and tilt floodlight camera looks like on a very cold, dreary day here in the UK. It's very cloudy and wet. I'm freezing. Goodbye. This one has a built-in siren, which is good to see. And how loud is this? I don't know. I can't find the info, but I will whip out the old decibel meter and test it for you. It can be mounted both on a wall or ceiling with the provided mount. And this mount is very similar to the mount on the recent Eufy floodlight I took a look at. You can find out about that up here somewhere. And finally, it's compatible with both Google Home and Mrs. A Smart Assistance. Right, that's your lot. It's time to go get it set up and tested. Move the mounting plate based on whether you are ceiling or wall mounting and then get it connected to a power source. This will need some very basic electrical work. Now I'm using a self-modified IEC cable to plug this in for testing purposes but I am not an electrician. I have in fact electrocuted myself multiple times so please do not take any of what I say or do as electrical advice. If you're using an SD card it lives under the water resistant tab on the bottom of the camera chin. 
Right here to be exact. Once mounted and connected to power, you will need to download the Ayusu app, which is available in your app store of choice. And if you don't already have one, create an account and get yourself signed in. Once signed in, allow the app permission to search your network and then click on add device. You are then prompted with a QR code to scan with the camera itself. But for me, and I believe it was using the Bluetooth, it was able to auto discover the unit and add it immediately. Either way, next you're gonna wanna click on add, Select your wireless network. This had no issues connecting to my Mix 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network. And then the camera will prompt you like so. Save settings successfully. It literally took less than 10 seconds to connect and confirm it was successful. Next, choose a location and then you'll be walked through some setup instructions, which will ask about storage, offering a free cloud trial, giving position advice and so on. But once you've skipped all of this, you're ready to go. As with all devices nowadays, there was a firmware update waiting. So update to ensure the best possible function. All settings for the camera are conveniently found under the settings menu. Funny that, and it's in here you can amend things like the floodlight brightness and schedule, detection modes and zone, notification settings and so on, along with also being able to link your smart home assistant. Mrs. A linked instantly without any faff whatsoever. Clicking the play icon will load the live feed where you can then interact with the camera's pan and tilt via an on-screen joystick. Enable two-way audio, turn on light and alarm, as well as capture images and videos. That's that's it, easy peasy. Easy peasy. As you've just seen, the setup process was super vast and very, very easy. I must say, I was really impressed. The app is clean and basic whilst providing all the options I would need and everything inside the app loaded really fast. The video feed loads quickly and has very little delay. Quality is awesome in my humble opinion and the motion tracking works really well. And when paired with the almost instant notifications, anyone trying to sneak up on your property is gonna struggle. The built-in alarm, which has various options to set within settings, was loud, reaching this amount of decibels. But as is the same with most cameras, to me, this isn't enough to scare the shit out of me, to be honest. It should be loud and unbearable, but it wasn't. The spotlight was measuring this, Number of lumens. The cloud storage starts from $29.99 per year for a single camera, which actually isn't too bad. And it will allow you to store a rolling 14 days. There are options to store more and have more cameras, but obviously you pay more. Now, would I subscribe and hand over my payment info? Probably not, but this isn't a dig at Ayusu. It's me being cautious because I've never heard of the brand prior to them reaching out to me. So I would personally need to see some kind of feedback in order to subscribe with confidence. I use Mrs. A and the integration with this when asking to see the camera feed was one of the quickest I've seen to load on my old Echo Show 5. Alexa, show me the backyard. Okay. All in all, this camera was a pleasure to use and the hardest part of the entire process, as with most things in my life, was sadly the DIY aspect. It feels well built, the app is a breeze to use, there are no hubs and importantly, there is no subscription. If I wasn't already deeply tied into an ecosystem and had a need, would I buy this camera? Yes. Yes, I would. For me, it sits at the right price point when browsing Amazon, in my opinion. And during my testing in the studio and playing with it in the back garden, I haven't been able to find a single fault with it. This could honestly be a true competitor to Yufi. In fact, after filming this, I'm gonna ask my contact at Ayusu not only how to pronounce the brand properly, but if they have any other devices they would be prepared to send me because I've been very impressed. I will, of course, use this for a little while longer and will update the comments down below with anything I feel you need to know. Thank you again to Ayusu for sending me this and if you have any questions about it or anything else for that matter then please do let me know in the comments down below and uh, whilst you're down there, that's what she said. please do consider liking the video even if you didn't. Subscribing if you aren't already and hit the bell to get notified when I upload new videos because very important it helps me get sent more free stuff like this to play with. So yeah, thanks, and uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye, internet. Put this chain on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on me. Why they throwing shade?